Good morning, everybody. Early morning. It's so, uh, see, we just crossed over to Arizona. Arizona doesn't do daylight savings time, so uh, we just shot back to Pacific Standard. That makes it about 8 a.m. We're on uh, I-15, heading south, uh, heading down to California, and between Utah and Nevada, there was this little tiny stretch of road owned by Arizona. Arizona's got like a, just a little corner up here. The thing is, is that, you know, I, it's like, what, 15, 20 miles? But it's a very scenic 15 to 20 miles. So I figured I'd film that today. Probably tried to find something to talk about, you know? I'm gonna get down to 55. It's 55 for uh, trucks through here. You always see them like just haul them, but though. Anyways, recent point of interest came up in uh, one of my Facebook groups. You know, uh, I'm on a uh, Facebook page with Heather. With with other drivers from uh, my my company, and we've been having a, some recent postings uh, from a new driver. He hasn't been been been, been doing this for, for very long. And uh, like. Virtually every post that he makes is a gripe about something. He's his his latest one is him actually just saying, "Yeah, I'm basically I'm going to quit." Uh, I, I guess he was on home time, and he's going to take his his uh, truck over to our yard in Lake Lakeland, and then just just drop it there and, and say, "I'm I'm, I'm done." Uh, Unfortunately, that's actually going to uh, print abandonment on his record, which is not a good thing. It it doesn't really matter if it's at at our yard. We still have to send somebody out to go get it. So it gets marked as as a, a abandonment, which is it's actually a bad thing to have on on your uh, license. Uh, I don't think it's going to matter much for him because something tells me he's not going to do trucking anymore. But let's let's back it up and you know kind of discuss what what's going on. You know, um, I think there's a lot uh, a bit of a misconception that a lot of drivers, new drivers, have when they come into the field. They think that they're just gonna show up and at the yard or something, and employees are gonna come strolling out out of the building, so, so you know, start raining dollar bills on them or or or, or something like that. Uh, the truth of the matter is, is first year of trucking uh, for new drivers, you don't really make any money. personal experience um you know i was i was getting things in in order i was starting to be able to pay off bills i was massively in, in uh behind on 
but there was a point in time it, I mean it, I can't remember how, how many months I I had already been driving uh, but I shut myself down uh, because I got sick and, and uh, I was down for like, like two weeks uh, because of those two weeks it set me behind on on uh, bills and payments and stuff for like almost four months it took it took four months to get back into the uh, cycle and during during that time you know I was sitting taking out um, uh, what you call it like a like a paycheck at, at advance cash advance you know we we, we actually have, have that option with our uh, fuel cards and it's uh, it's fifty dollars like twice a week I, I can't remember where where the day splits thing is about you know the thing with the ca cash advance is that that's that's 50 less that you get on the, on the next paycheck I try to tell people to to avoid doing that you know don't don't fall into the uh, trap Basically, during that the whole time, uh, um, mostly what I was doing was living off of hot dogs, using the uh, points on on our uh, on on our like gas station fuel fuel cards. You know, but when you fill up, you get so many points pinned onto it. And uh, you get like 300 uh, points. That's that's basically three bucks. And that's the price of two hot dogs. You, you, you grab those hot dogs, load up everything you can on it. I was trying to save the the uh, money for uh, for other things. I I do know that in one case, it really really pissed me off one day because I had just pulled out a. Uh, uh, cash advance and went down to um, I had I had to go into San, San San Francisco for a drop well it's free to go into San Francisco but when you leave it costs you 25 bucks to cross the the, uh, the Bay Bridge I was so pissed off about that you know I lost half of the money that I pulled out for advance for like food and stuff like that but again back back to the point you don't really make a lot of money in the first year of trucking you know uh, especially with the big big companies like this you know uh, your first year you're you're a uh, you're making payments on the uh, the the, uh, the payments for the truck driving school. You know, uh, if you go past past one year, uh, you kind of get get kind of get cleared of that. But you know, you make payments on that, so that's that's money that's being that's being taken out. Uh, you're more than likely to be involved in a, a uh, accident in, in the first year. Well, guess what? You're going to be making payments on that, too. Um, and on, on top of that, I mean, they're, they're not exactly going to be throwing, like, like the big money-making loads on a, on a first-year driver, like, right off the bat. You're just not, you know, you, you, got, you got to kind of prove yourself. And 
that's that's kind of the point that a lot of other drivers were were trying to make to this guy now his first gripe or at least at least the first one that i saw um he was talking about how he showed up late to a walmart dc and they and they had to reschedule him and and the next available appointment was like four days away something, something like that now we kept you know a, a lot of the other drivers were, were trying to press him on why he was late and he kept avoiding answering the uh, question well it didn't take long for us to figure out that that he was basically lazy and decided to show up at, at his own time and, and, Instead of the the you know, instead of the scheduled appointment time, you know uh, that's that's on you. That's that's simply on you. And it's performance like that that gets you worse jobs. Oh, look at all that up there! I told you this was scenic. Jill's about to talk to me. You are exceeding the posted speed limit. Yeah, I know. I've got eyes. I saw it. Let's put you on the mute. Don't want you talking to me again. Uh, so yeah. Uh, we found out that his being late was his fault. And then, um, you know, I mean, he was just getting bad loads, like, time and time again after that. And uh, I also know th that that he was taking his gripes to another trucking group, which I, I was in until j just a little while ago, uh, trying to gain uh, sympathy from those, those, those people. He's, a, you know, he's... From what I kept on reading, what I gathered is that he's a person who creates his own problems and then wants sympathy from from people. And I hate to sound mean, but you know, you gotta be more proactive about sol solving your own problems you know don't don't expect the whole world to hold your hand especially in trucking in trucking it's it's you and the uh, and the truck and the road you make your schedule you know what time you got to pick up at this place you know what time you that you got to drop off at, at this place what you do in between is is your deal just make sure that you're on time because if you're not it becomes somebody else's problem and they are going to call you up and say hey what happened and if you continually do you know do do stuff like that well then the then the uh the uh, people that are trying to help you are not going to want to help you as much. Unfortunately, trucking is not for everybody. You know, there, there were some drivers that that come in and think that that they could just ride through the the uh, school and, and do the bare basics. Uh, I've I've talked to uh, trainers before who get these students and the students immediately just go to sleep, sit around, don't even really want to drive. They think they think that the trainer is going to do all the work and they'll just get uh, points up until the end. It's not gonna work like that, you know. 
train is going to get sick and tired of you, take it back to 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 the yard. And if your if your performance is showing that that you're not a go getter, chances are the uh, you know the company's probably going to just let let you go. Either that, or they'll make it so bad for you that you let yourself go. Oh, that was like 15 miles. Look at that, we're already through. I like going to that little gorge. So pretty. <coughs> now we can get back up to full speed. This little portion is still uh, Arizona. Nevada is coming up here pretty soon. I'm going to get up to Mesquite. The Nevada border town. Another thing that I might point out about that, you know, it's in 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 this post, you know, all all of his posts were were con were consistently negative. Uh, that tells me that he's got a negative uh, uh, attitude, a negative outlook, which means that he's got, you know, which means that that he most likely uh, is putting is most likely going to be negative towards like his driver manager, the trip planner, the dispatcher, and uh, social skills is kind of something that, that you need. I, I don't have the greatest social skills myself, but at least I'm nice, nice to people when I talk to them. And you know, the thing is, is those those three people that that, that I just mentioned, the driver manager, the trip planner. Dispatcher, they are they are the ones that give you your jobs. If you if you be negative to them, then they're going to withhold those jobs from you. They're going to give them to the drivers that they like. You know, I don't I don't get like like max miles myself each week, but. I'm never without a job, okay? I, I, I always have a pre-plan before I have dropped off. I, I already have a pre-plan now. Uh, I dropped this. This is a three drop load that I'm on now. The first one is gonna be tomorrow morning. Uh, and then the other two are gonna be on the uh, 12th. As soon as I'm done with those, that pre-plan is, is is going to kick in. I'm going to go straight there, get the load, keep on going. As soon as I drop that one off, I will, you know, I, I will have another pre-plan ready. Might be at, at the same place I drop off at. Damn it! You just had to be on my side, didn't you? That's okay, it looks like he's speeding up pretty quick. Ooh, look at that big drop. Look at that crane. I wonder what they're building down there. You know, they, they, uh, my, uh, my trip planner and my driver manager actually both know that, that, that the miles I get is kind of my, my preferred miles. You know, I'm not, I'm not like a massive like push it as hard as I can. I like to, you know, I like to kind of breathe, breathe a little. It's all, it's all good enough that that I'm paying bills and and I'm I'm so I'm so uh, earning, so it makes me happy. Send me all kinds of stuff. Hey, Frida. Oh, like a truck. 
Church of Campground Jesus? Personally, never said a, a single thing to this person. I just kind of sat back and watched. But like a lot of other drivers, kept kept trying to tell him, you know, uh, basically a lot of the things that that, that 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 I just said. You know, yeah, it's it, it's not easy for the first year guy. It really isn't. A lot of us can can say the same. You know, once you get into the second year. And you figured out some things about trucking, like not to hit people or anything like that, then you're gonna start get, getting better loads. You know, you know there was uh, I saw I saw a uh, post just a little while ago. Driver was saying, yeah, you know, uh, the first year I was making like eight eight hundred a week. Now he's up to like twelve to fifteen hundred in, in the second year. You know he's he's getting the hang of it. He's getting better loads. You got to you know that's what you got to hold out for. You know, but some some people out there just don't don't have the patience for that. You know. Uh, or some people just can't wrap their their heads about around what needs to be done. And in in trucking, you know, one of the things that I like about trucking is that it seems to be one of the few jobs out there where you seem where it so seems like you that you get back what you put in. You know, I've been I've been a lot happier in this job because uh, my my performance uh, is reflected in in the paychecks that, 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 that I get back as opposed to the one job that, that I had where I worked so hard to get up to a certain spot and then uh, I got demoted just simp simply because a manager decided we don't need to pay people that that much for that 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 position. That's a gripe that I'll have for the rest of my life. It's just just the way that happened, man. Just the way that happened. I, God, that pissed me off so bad. <sighs> Gorgies, you're my kitty. Hey, kitty. Well, we went through our little little scenic drive. There's not going to be much else to look at out, out here. Let's go around the corner. We'll see if uh, mesquites are. Is in view yet? Uh, I, yeah, I mean, basically, what you see here, I'm gonna be seeing for uh, the next 80, oh, about 150 miles. Actually, it'll probably be, be beyond that because 80, 82 miles is Vegas, and you got you got desert until then. Then you get past it, and you got what, like, more desert until you get to Mars, though? In my world, all brown, yeah. 
yeah, I think that's uh, that should be mesquite right there, right in front of me. But I will call it quits, and I will talk to you guys later.